Hi, welcome back to my channel. This is Marcia Jaramillo coming to you with another natural homemaker cooking tutorial. I have something really good for a corn alternative and like grits type of a thing. So I don't know if you're from the south. I know um, also grits are popular in the northern states as well. I grew up in the south so this was a staple in our house and we would have eggs and grits for breakfast. <clears throat> so now I can no longer have corn so I wanted to introduce you to buckwheat and this is the brand that I absolutely love. It's organic. Let me get my spoon out of the way. And it's the Pocono brand and I get mine at Vitacost. If you want my referral link to get uh, cash back using Ebates, you can go to my website at www.marketsofsunshine.com and you'll be able to sign up using my referral link for Ebates. And then go to Vitacost and you can get this the cheapest place than any health food store um, locally and get cash back at the same time and then browse their organic gluten-free section for other alternative choices. So this is wheat-free and gluten-free. Now this is what it looks like. Um, this is the raw form. Kind of looks like grits, doesn't it? Okay, and then you cook it with water. You boil the water on the stove just like you would for grits. And this is what it looks like when it's cooked. Now I cannot have dairy either because I'm allergic to the protein in dairy, believe it or not. So it's not being lactose intolerant like a lot of people may think, so you really need to get tested to see what is it about the dairy. So it could be something more serious than just being lactose intolerant. Then, so what do I use instead of butter? I use tahini butter, which is from sesame seeds, and I also get this from Vitacost. As you can see right there, the brand is on the jar. So I put in a tablespoon, about this size here of the spoon, and um, the serving directions are on the back of the box. So you can start off with a quarter of a cup of buckwheat and one and a fourth cups of water, a little dash of salt, and you can go up from there for serving sizes. So that's for one serving size. What is absolutely yummy if you can have dairy is to put in um, your favorite cheese and just a teeny weeny bit of butter and oh my goodness absolutely delicious fabulous and then if you can eat eggs um, then go ahead and make up your favorite um, fried egg or scrambled and put that in I would just put it right in and stir it all up it is so yummy you will love it okay so this is my tip for you today a corn alternative and I eat it for dinner, believe it or not. So um, check out my website and leave a comment and let me know if you have food allergies and what they are. And I will come up with a alternative for you. So subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Give me a thumbs up. Share it on one of your social media. And I'll see you next time. Have a great evening. Enjoy.